Hi everybody, I am back and we have come a long way from what I call the dorm room days, which is the last video that I posted. That was a long time ago. But what I'm going to be doing today is a hair curling tutorial. We are going back to basics, um, back to the 2009-10 YouTube era days where we're doing straight up a tutorial. So first, just prep your hair. You should probably comb it and brush it out. I don't do that because I just don't comb my hair. But um, you always want to prep your hair somehow. Um, I use one of two. This is the Tresemme Heat Protection Up Till 450 Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. This is an OG. I've used this for probably since I was like for 10 years. Um, this one is the one that I just sprayed on my hair today. It's what I'm currently using. It's the Kevin Murphy Untangled Leave-In Conditioner Detangler and Heat Protectant. And what, that's what it looks like. You can get it. You can get it online, um, this brand, but this brand you can find in any Kevin Murphy associated salon, which is where I prefer to get mine is, um, at the salon because online i just don't trust it because a lot of the carriers that carry kevin murphy online um they mark up the prices when you purchase from their website or not their website but if you purchase it from like amazon or walmart or something i noticed the price there is a difference than when you, if you go into a salon the curling iron that i'm using today is it's already rubbed off i only had this for like two years it's the Conair one inch barrel curling iron. I got it at Target. It's like a rose gold barrel. Um, there's many different types of, there's many different types of tools that you can use to curl your hair. And there's so many different methods too. First way I learned to curl my hair was actually from one of Michelle Fon's videos um, with her paper bag or her hair curler tutorial where you just curl your hair, wrap it around something. When it's wet, let it dry, sleep over it overnight or blow dry it, and then you're done. It's heatless generally. Um, this is the oldest curling iron that I have. I got this back in 2012. It is a Remington wand. Oh, it's stained with something. I have no idea what. But this is one of those ones. It was super popular back then because of the Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift curls. You would like wrap it around. And what I used to do in college was um, I would do my hair super tight in so many different sections overnight. I would do it the night before. And then when I wake up the next morning, it was kind of fallen out. You just brush it through and then you're good to go. This one... I've had for probably about five or so years. This is a Hot Tools uh, one and one quarter inch gold barrel um, curling iron. A lot of um, salon professionals use this. I like it when I have long hair like I do now because it has like that beachy, you can do that beachy wave. But I think you can actually, I found that you can achieve the same curls or same style of curls with um actually a three quarter inch or a one quarter inch barrel um just the same just a different technique than if you use this because for some reason when i use this my curls don't last as long as anything else my original curling iron wasn't even mine it was my mother's from like the 90s again it was a conair one and the only reason why i stopped using it is because i wanted this one or I wanted this one, like a newer one, like not something that was already 20 years old. But either way, and there's people outside, either way, you can make a curling iron work. For some reason, the drugstore ones I've noticed last a lot longer. What you can do if you want to be more organized is section off your hair, depending on the thickness of your hair and how, like what, what, style you want um when i curl my hair i like a messier look i do not really like those tight 
ringlets. So I don't really, if I do section it off, it'll be maybe in half or a quarter like this, or maybe into quarters if I really want to have like nicely curled waves, but I'll just do two and two like this. Like I said, this is a one inch. I'll section off my hair into pieces kind of like this run it through once now this is this has a clip so what i like to do is i start kind of halfway twist it once release it twist it again up release it and one of the newer styles is kind of leaving the ends off but sometimes i don't like doing that i just kind of go all the way to the end and then release it and you get you get a curl like this do you see that? I had my heat setting all the way up because I like to only spend about 10 minutes to actually curl my hair. So I do like just kind of random pieces. Once, sometimes I do it twice. And I go counterclockwise and clockwise. I like to mix it up so that it's not all one blob of hair look that was like less than 10 seconds so i've been going counterclockwise so i will go clockwise now which is turning towards your face with your hair with the pieces that are near like to the front of your face i would recommend going twirling your um like how i did with the first one twirling your barrel away from your face just to open up your face because if you have a curl like in it kind of closes everything off okay i don't really have a mirror other than this viewfinder so sorry what inspired me to do this video was i had a couple friends who said they don't really curl their hair and they needed some help. So I kinda, with the quarantine still happening, I kinda just wanted to make this video. It's a quick little easy one, just if you're in a pinch and you wanna curl your hair. This is a pretty simple, or how, I hope it's a simple tutorial. Basically, I'm just showing you, so. Oh, here's another method. Um, heating up your hair, opening up the clamp and using it as a wand. So here the clamp is open, sliding my hair in between, whichever way I wanna turn it is where I will. And then you just wrap it. I can't even see, I bet I'm gonna burn myself. So you wrap it all the way like this, and then you close the clamp. And I just kind of toggle it like this. And then kind of do that. So see how that's a different type of curl? This is more of like a ringlet, like this is more like a spiral curl that I just did. And then versus, versus using like your traditional type of hair curling technique, it looks slightly different. It looks looser uh, uh, when I, well, it looks tighter. This curl looks tighter when I wrap it versus just using the clamp, it's a little bit looser. And if you want it still tight, what you can do after you curl each piece of hair, let it cool down a little bit, twist it up again, and either bobby pin or somehow clip it up so that you know you can get every single piece of hair. And then once you're done curling your hair, you can, unre you can release it and then you have the same curl that has stayed in place. A lot of people like to do that if you want that style of like perf perfect curl hair or if you are about to do an updo. Um, I think people do it for like bridal hair as well, you know, to keep your hair staying intact as soon as possible. But for day to day, I just, I like that messy curl look. It 
It's actually harder to curl your hair, I think, with um, a clampy type of original type of curling iron because your hands have to get used to it, like that dexterity and everything. Um, what was really simple to learn was a wand because all you do, usually it comes with a glove, like one glove so that you can hold on to your hair to have the barrel. So that's nice. This one here, to make a bigger wave with a small, smaller barrel, you can, you basically twirl it like how you would, except you kind of, hold on, let me just see. What I do is I wrap it around the whole barrel and then I keep the clamp open um that kind of didn't work oh kind of so see how it's like super loose like these two look different can you see like this is way looser if you only want to have or buy one curling iron which makes sense I would suggest a smaller barrel because you could do more than if you only have a bigger barrel. So this is one and one quarter inch, I think is what I said. Not one and a half. So there's one and one quarter, there's two inch, and then there's, I think I've seen two and a quarter as well. And um, those are huge barrels. And I always think that you need, you need at least this length hair, medium to long hair, because if you don't, your hair is just if you if you have short hair and you're trying to use this as a curling like i don't know it, it just it won't really work three quarter inch is going to give you those tighter shirley temple like curls look look at this i barely used it and then kept opening the clamp. So, wrapping it around your whole barrel and then using your clamp to widen your curl. See how loose it is? It's, it's barely touching. It's not tight. You can play around with this. So this is my favorite type of curl or wave to have. And I'm only taking longer because I'm actually talking, but normally I would be done by now. Some people only like to curl the ends, but if you want a super tight, if you want a tighter curl, if you like that look, um, which sometimes there's, you know, there's an occasion for that. I like that too. You, um, this is like an inch of hair, or you can even grab a smaller piece. And then start from the bottom. And then if you leave little spaces, I never keep the barrel, because I have it on high heat, I never keep the hair touching the barrel for more than I'd say five to 10 seconds. Where is it? Look at this. This is a, like a ribbon curl almost. Much tighter. They always I would have noticed, and I've heard people say this, is the more damaged your hair is, the stronger your curl, or the longer your curl might last, probably because it is damaged. I did notice that this year, once my hair started getting more healthy, my curls would fall out and get looser more quickly than it used to. I used to be able to, my hair used to be able to hold a curl for like a whole 24 hours. And now it's usually gone by like 
the tenth hour of the day, <laughs> um, which is totally fine. Means your hair is healthy. Uh, I used to curl my hair every day, and I would, I wouldn't even use spray sometimes. I think one time I ran out and I just never rebought it, and so I was just curling my hair without anything and. Just better make sure you keep conditioning your hair. I like to oil the ends too with the same um, Kevin Murphy oil, leave-in oil. So anyways, this is not the most um, cute video, good YouTube video, but I hope you guys learned something. Leave a comment, subscribe. What do people say? Like, comment, and subscribe, please. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. I hope this helped. Bye.